Ooh, girl, y'all need to be sat for this tea because it looks like we're about to see the messiest and wildest celebrity beef that we have seen in a long time. Y'all know how Remy Ma and Nicki have been beefing for a long time and Remy Ma's son just got arrested for allegedly unaliving a man? Well, the streets are now saying that the man that Remy's son unalived is Nicki Minaj's cousin. And y'all best believe that Nicki is not taking this lightly because she just accused Remy of allegedly targeting her family and trying to unalive Nicki herself. Baby, this is the drama of the year and it is about to get messy. For those who are late to the party, Remy Ma's son, Jason Scott, got arrested by the NYPD and now faces a laundry list of charges, including first, second degree, criminal possession of a weapon, and reckless endangerment. If you're wondering, Jason is from her previous marriage. So no, he's not Papoose's biological son. And get this, according to the cops, Jason didn't carry out the alleged alone because his bestie, Richard Swiger, was also arrested and slapped with first degree reckless endangerment, and yep, you guessed it, criminal possession of a weapon. When the news first hit, we immediately knew that it was going to be bad because first degree is no joke and Jason could be facing a life sentence if he's convicted and found guilty but hey at least he's going to have his bestie with him so that's got to count for something I guess according to the police the arrest was tied to the of a 47 year old man named Darius Gilbo aka D Block on June 7 2021 and get this Darius wasn't just a random person because he was a well-known criminal in the hood which makes it weirder that Remy's son would have the guts to unalive him according to reports Darius was no stranger to law enforcement, having been arrested 13 times and serving three jail terms, according to the state attorney general's office. Gilbo was known as D-Block on the streets. He was among 54 people who were indicted in a sweeping investigation dubbed Operation Heat Wave in November 2020, according to the AG's office. Gilbo was charged with supplying a ring in upstate Jefferson County, according to Attorney General Letitia James. The NYPD released a statement saying, police responded to a 911 call of a male shot at the intersection of 148th Street and Rockaway Boulevard within the confines of the 113 precinct, an NYPD spokesperson told XXL. Upon arrival, officers observed a 47-year-old male unconscious and unresponsive with multiple wounds to the head and chest. EMS responded to the location and transported the victim to Jamaica Hospital Medical Center, where he was pronounced deceased. It was also revealed that the police are also investigating the possibility that it could have been a murder for hire. I'm Steve Lacey. And I'm Natasha Verma. 23-year-old Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a murder. Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that it was a for hire. At first, fans put all the blame on Remy, mocking her for being a bad influence on her older son. Like I said, she had Jason before she married Papoose, so Jason was right there when Remy was still very much rough around living the gangster life. Back in May 2008, Remy got hit with an eight-year prison sentence for shooting her associate, Makita Barnes Joseph. She racked up several charges, including attempted coercion and a and here's the kicker. She wasn't sorry one bit. Word on the street is that she has some of her male friends rough up a witness's boyfriend to scare the witness from testifying. That stunt earned her extra charges for witness tampering and gang she ended up serving six years before getting out in 2014, so fans aren't exactly shocked with the claims of her son allegedly unaliving someone with a pew pew. The drama just keeps getting wilder, especially with rumors swirling that Remy might be the one who put out the hit. Allegedly, of course. And if you're wondering why on earth she would do something like that, well, here's where it gets juicy. Y'all remember how I said that the victim, Darius Gilbo, isn't just some random guy? He's a well-known criminal kingpin in the hood, and his crew is furious and out for blood. But wait, there's more. The real plot twist is that Darius is also a cousin to Kenneth Petty, aka Mr. Nicki Minaj. This connection makes things messier because Remy and Nicki have been beefing for as long as anyone can remember. And that's why there are rumors that it was a botched hit. The drama between Nicki and Remy started in 2007 after Nicki claimed to be the queen of rap. In 2006, Remy released her debut album, There's Something About Remy, based on a true story, boldly declaring, I'm the queen of rap and there is none higher. Then in 2007, Nicki fired back with her mixtape, Playtime is Over. On the freestyle track, Dirty Money, Nicki threw several jabs at Remy, including the line, tell that B with the crown to run it like Chris Brown. She won three rounds, I'ma need a hundred thou. Oh y'all ain't know, bet y'all B's know now. And just like that, the beef was on. Remy knew that the bars were about her and in an interview, she claimed to have confronted Nicki about it, saying, when I seen her at the party, I was like, yeah, what was that line about? Remy said, to this day, I think it was a stab at me. That's what you do in rap. 
and I'm cool with that. The shade throwing continued between Nicki and Remy escalating in 2016 when Remy dropped the song Money Showers with her Terror Squad collaborator Fat Joe. In the track, Remy called out an opponent who claimed the title of Queen, a title Remy said the op in question didn't deserve. She said, B claiming she the Queen, what? Not Harley, who the F gave you your crown, B? Steve Harvey? Remy also made comments about how Nicki used a ghostwriter and barely wrote her own verses, even though she pretends to write everything. Then there's also the time when Remy had a freestyle and referenced Nicki's signature phrase, all these bees is my sons, in her line, all this talk about my son and your son, I'm hot and your whole world revolve around me, B. I am the sun. Papoose then backed up his woman by rapping that there can only be one queen. Talk about a supportive man. Nikki then fired back saying that Remy had been out of prison for two years but had made no impact in the rap scene. She said, I gave these bees two years, now your time's up. Bless her heart, she throwing shots, but every line sucks. In the song, Make Love, Nicki clowned Remy's poor album sales, saying, Oh, oh, you the queen, the queen of this here? One platinum plaque, album flop, beware. You see Silly Rabbit to be the queen of rap, you gotta sell records, you gotta get plaques. S plural like the S on my chest. Nikki's diss must have really hit home because just 48 hours later, Remy fired back with Sheether, a nearly seven minute diss track that took direct aim at Nikki. Set to the beat of Nas's classic Ether, Remy spilled all the tea, calling out everything from ghostwriting rumors to plastic surgery chatter. She also posted the song on Twitter saying, you wanna see a dead body? Little kid from Boys in the Hood voice at Nicki Minaj. They've kept the shade throwing game strong and it is messy. So when folks discovered that the man Remy's son allegedly unalive was Nikki's husband's cousin, fans went off, connecting the dots and getting a pretty wild picture. Rumor has it that Nikki believes Remy is behind this and that she put out the hit. Nikki thinks Remy had it out for her and was trying to take her down, but things went sideways. Not long after Jason's arrest was announced, Nikki posted Call Webb. And according to sources, Webb is one of Darius's goons, allegedly. She also tweeted, who up, what I just found out. Unfortunately, it seems like Remy's son is in even more danger because Darius's friends and supporters have been threatening him on social media. Y'all posting my friend talking about justice for D-Block now that Remy my son and went to jail. And I just want to say that ain't no f***ing justice for D-Block. You think D-Block want to f***ing know D-Block for his brother? You think D-Block want to f***ing know D-Block for his brother? Make it make sense. Other than his daughter and his family, Ain't none of y'all supposed to be saying no shit like that. Yeah, because son wouldn't have been saying no shit like that. If that black could buy you right there, God forbid, would have got killed in these streets, ain't no way in the world me and my son D-Block would have been in Sparkle Crib talking about, I hope that will go to jail that killed by you. No way in the world. So for all of y'all posting justice for D-Block, I just want to say, y'all sound like fucking rats to me. Let's get to that. Well, Remy is standing 10 toes down behind her son and she released a statement that said, we stand by Jason's innocence and pray that the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This is undoubtedly a difficult time for my family and me. While we sincerely appreciate the love and support we have received from all of you, we kindly ask for privacy as our legal team works to prove Jason's innocence. As his mother, I want to address the situation personally, but have been strongly advised by his legal counsel not to say anything. As most people in similar situations are informed by their attorneys due to it being an active case. Well, the streets are now claiming that it's only a matter of time before Remy's alleged role in this gets leaked. And girl, this is about to get messy. Fans commented, Remy Ma's son was hired to Nicki Minaj's husband's brother. Here's the thing, Remy was beefing with her too, so she might have sent her own son. Remy Ma's son Jason Scott arrested for first degree murder. Why are all the Silver Spoon Trust Fund babies obsessed with being thugs? And the apple don't fall far from the tree. Folks be worried about everything but raising them kids the right way. Child, this is a mess, but y'all drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.